Hi, um, this time I want to show you a little circuit that just uh, shows in a little scale how easy it is to connect uh, different devices using the old standard RS-232 uh, ASCII connection. Um, this is a very old protocol that um, somehow still survives after decades of its first creation back in the 70s or even earlier I guess um, <coughs> but um, we still clang to this old protocol and uh, even modern controllers like the Arduino can still be made to work because basically the serial communication is very simple if you're gonna send ASCII characters to serial uh, you can really do it with even very simple circuitry this time I'm using an Arduino uh, Uno board and a Max 32 um, TTL level converter um, here just connected to uh, transmit, receive and ground and um, this is just connected to pins uh, 10 and 9 here these are the transmit and receive lines and I'll show you the schematics of it so the uh, Max 232 uh, is connected to a serial port here. This is a serial port. The pins uh, 2 and 3 of the TV9. Ground is 5 and it has some handshake signals. Jumper, which is request to send. Uh, got the terminal ready, etc. And uh, the TTL levels from the buffers go into the Arduino's pins 9 and 10. Now, the Arduino have here apparently predefined pre um, to um, transmit and receive lines here being pin 0 and 1 but instead of that you can down you can include a software serial uh, library into your project and basically create as many serial ports as you have pins available here. So you, if you include in your Arduino sketch this library here, you can define um, as many serial ports as you like. Well, of course, not as many, but as many pins you can have on that. So you can have serial ports if you got, I don't know, 13. You can probably have six ports. Is that possible? Maybe. Uh, and this little sampling, little sample uh, circuit, I'm just using two switches here um, just to get some uh, um, behavior that I can transfer to the serial port. So the Arduino is going to be looking at this input and transferring its uh, states through the serial port the artificial or the software serial port and it's also going to read a value and then set this LED according to that value so if it's one it's going to be on if it's zero it's going to be off and the status of this two uh, input pins are going to be transferred through the serial port to uh, the MicroLogix DF1 protocol, which is, it's not a, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be DF1, it's gonna be ASCII, but there's a DF1 port on the uh, PLC here. So this is uh, 1500 MicroLogix PLC from Alan Bradley, and I'm using here uh, the uh, DF1 serial port that the PLC has for its programming. And I'm using this for a project, so I'm just recycling it. I have attached a push button here, so the push button switches on input one, and the LED is connected to output. I mean, this is connected to input zero, and this is connected to output zero. So the first bits of the output and input racks are connected to the PLC. So, um, the Arduino uh, is creating a, ser a virtual serial port that is connected to the Max32 and sending a value 
to um, the serial port. So let me just uh, I'm gonna shut down our logics here. Yes, and I'm going to open uh, hyper terminal. Here I have a um, uh, serial to USB converter that I'm gonna use because this modern PLC uh, PCs don't have uh, a real serial port. So I'm just going to connect this to the uh, Keyspan uh, USB 2 serial uh, converter and I'm going to already know it's this, this is a uh, um, COM uh, 9 so here I'm going to pick COM 9 accept and I'm going to connect I'm connected. So whenever there is a a status to be set here, uh, this is what the Arduino is sending over the serial port as programmed by the sketch itself. So I can uh, compress this screen here. I'm reading at com um, nine, which is the USB to serial converter and here on the Arduino I can open up the uh, the the serial monitor which is reading the USB um, maximize and just bring it to the normal size here it's hard okay so if I press a button here it will send a string of zeros to and it will also change the status here on the uh, so the Arduino is sending values to its uh, normal uh, USB COM port, virtual COM port, and it's also sending values because it's programmed so to uh, the Max 32 into the serial port here. So the PLC it's getting the um, status here as a string of uh, characters here's and also as a string of zeros so this side is going to be connected to the MicroLogix um, using a simple um, uh, I built this little uh, DB9 to DB9 uh, circuit uh, we don't circuit uh, uh, converter which is just uh, uh, it's, there's no circuitry in size, just connect connect to um, male uh, DV9s so I can use uh, the same cables that I'm using for my uh, PLC and without doing any other cabling so this is just a dummy uh, gender converter so um, first thing I'm gonna be doing here I'm gonna shut down hyper terminal which is just doing this just doing this sending values to C0101010101010101 here the status is changing so this is what the Arduino is doing once I press this little push button here and if I uh, send here on hyper terminal if I send a zero uh, if I send one, uh, if I send zero or one here, the, Ar the Arduino is going to turn on the LED here. Let me show you. If I send a zero or a one, it's going to do that. So, uh, now I'm going to disconnect the serial from the upper terminal. Shut down this here. So I'm monitor. Shut down hyper terminal. Yep. Open up RS links. Let me 
going to connect this to the PLC so I can upload the program to the PLC here. I'm going to save it. Okay, so the PLC is just sending ASCII characters depending on the status of the um, push button and is reading a value from the PLC. So it's a uh, full duplex communication is sending and receiving at the same time and the logic just uh, compares values, moves values to string characters and then uses ASCII write functions here, uh, ASCII read and then uses ASCII clear buffer to clear the buffer and then ASCII uh, write append so it's just sending a, a, a string of characters in ASCII format. Uh, it's not using Modbus or any fancy protocol. It's just simple ASCII communication. Um, so the Arduino Sudori program, the program creates a virtual serial port and then reads and writes according to whatever values are being transferred to the serial port. So. Um, the PLC will do exactly, well, uh, more or less the same. So both parties are going to be reading each other's uh, status and then writing depending on that. So it's not like master slave, it's just peer-to-peer -peer communication. But once I, I download here to the PLC, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to lose connection because this is going to change from DF1 to uh, ASCII format. Let me just pause this a little bit. Okay, I just had to set the the um, remote program uh, switch to program, so I'm gonna download the uh, the circuit. I mean the uh, the logic to the PLC here. So I'm going to I'm gonna proceed to download it here. Download and ask me, yeah. And it's gonna lose connection to it. Yep, apply. So I was gonna lose connection. I was link. It's not gonna see it anymore. See? far as links the PLZ is gone because it changed its uh, com settings so uh, yes so um, that's what happened um, now with your Arduino it's running always all the time and the PLC is already programmed so if I open up com here this is going to be getting from the um, the PLC. It just shut down. I opened it twice, so here it is. Um, let's see if I can look up what's on it. Um, oh yeah, now it's set to run here. It said the PLC, the PLC is not running. That's there. Run. I can rock it back to remote. Okay, it's running. Now it's running. Okay, so the PLC it's sending zero zero. If I press. Send zero one. All right, that's because it's not setting. Uh, I cannot send anything using the terminal, but 
Let me just connect this two together and send a value to each other because I probably need to change the uh, Gander converter. So I'm going to connect these two here using the little um, gender converter. Now we're getting a status on com zero. So we are reading a value on com zero. Channel one on channel zero on the PLC. So if I were to press the push button on the PLC here, let me just bring these two guys together. If I were to press the push button, which will turn on input one here, the Arduino will turn on the LED. And if I were to press this button here, the LED on the PL on the PLC will turn on. So it's and now it's uh, blinking. So it's a very simple. You can even expand this, so you can actually turn uh, turn your Arduino. Uh, this PLC has no analog inputs on itself, but the Arduino has uh, six analog input channels that you can transfer values to the uh, to the uh, to the PLC. So. Um, Basically, the PLC it's a it's a microcontroller itself. It's just that it has a little, um, just like the Arduino has a firmware that executes a program on top. So you have the 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 low level firmware, and then you have the uh, user program. <coughs> so it's a two layer software, and both are pretty much the same. Just one is programmed using ladder logic, and other is programmed using uh, type of C programming developed by Arduino. Um, so um, you're actually connecting two controllers using a serial port. You are transferring data from one to each other and you can do this with a modicum or um, say um, Siemens or um, any other controller that allows ASCII communication using its serial ports. Um, so this just opens up that as it is concerned to microcontrollers, you can expand its functionality beyond that. And there's a lot of resources on the net, uh, open source projects that you can uh, work around. This is a good um, exercise that I did because I always wanted to connect PLCs to other devices. Um, so you can, you know, you can connect a PLC, a modicum PLC to a mod, uh, to a Adam Bradley and transfer data to each other uh, without any um, worries. I mean, it's just uh, fun and very um, entertaining. And I would like to thank you for watching and please comment on the box. Thanks.